Time to dig in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exhaust my power. <laughs> from Vegan Living 24-7. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title and from these boxes, I'm gonna do a mukbang. Mukbang just means eating show, so I'm gonna be eating, I'm probably not, I'm just gonna give you a heads up, I'm probably not gonna eat all of the junk food that's in all of these. I wanna sample all of them, yes, yes I do. But, um, you know, I wanna share with Jeff and also I just think that that's like super unhealthy to eat that much junk food all at once. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so before I take a moment to <laughs> set this up nicely, let's take a look. Whoa, look at all that. <laughs> I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, I'm trying to organize and I'm getting excited. What are these? Oh my god, I want to try them. Okay, you guys, I've kind of got set up. Um, there's still some stuff that's like not shown. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> I'm so excited to do this. Okay, so if I haven't explained this, I can't remember if I said it. A mukbang is an eating show. So if you don't like the sounds of people eating, people talking while they're eating, I try my best not to be like, um, 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 when I'm eating, but like, you know, I mean, you're gonna hear it a little bit. Um, if you don't like that kind of thing, this video will not be for you. No. You can click out and watch another one of my videos. Okay, so um, today is November 1st, which is World Vegan Day. Uh oh, uh, I did not plan this at all. I always forget that November 1st is World Vegan Day, but this is a great day to film this. Of course, it's not gonna be uploaded then. I have another video that was uploaded. What video did I upload for today? I do not remember. <laughs> Anyways, I am so excited to do these. So the plan was I had gotten like the six boxes of uh, vegan cuts. They are basically a mailing thingy that you can get sent to you and it has a whole bunch of different goodies. And then they'll give you little cards for discounts. So here you guys go. If you want to like a little discount, enter, uh, use that snack attack thingamajig for a little bit of a discount. And then you can always enter to win a free box each time you take a photo with vegan cuts in it. So if you already have some of their products, cool, cool. I did not know that. Um, so yeah, let's just start, I guess. I promised in my last video that I wasn't going to make my next mukbang to be like, I was going to try to make it 30 minutes, but I don't know how I'm going to make this 30 minutes. I thought it would be fun while I was setting this up. I'm like, it'd be fun to make this an ASMR video. It's basically like where people are, you're listening to sounds like, and everything like that but um then you have to be really quiet and everything and I'm like ASMR videos seem to be targeted to like a very specific audience only like certain people like to watch those so for a big video like this one I don't really feel like making it an ASMR that would be so long so I'll uh, I do want to try to try it out try making an ASMR video someday okay what kind is this Ooh. I don't even know it's kind of sweet delicious mini popcorn it's by Pipcorn Kettle Popcorn, as seen on Shark Tank. It's pretty tasty. I think this one's a good one to start with. Pretty simple ingredients, like there's cane sugar and brown sugar in it, sea salt. So, I thought I would kind of do a little bit of life updates during this video. This is so, this is gonna be so all over the place. Oh my God, I can't wait to try those. I can't wait. Um, What is this? Aloha Mocha, plant-based protein. Okay, so I'm not a huge, huge coffee lover, so I'm gonna have a little bit of it. I'm sure Jeff's gonna love this. So essentially, mm, I forgot to say, yeah, so I had ordered a lot of these and I was gonna be like videoing them like one at a time. So I had six of them, but what happened? was I kept putting it off. So these are all like pretty old. So some of these are gonna be kind of stale. <laughs> so it's not gonna be like super great review on them, which is the reason why I didn't want to do them with my friends now. Cause I didn't want to make them eat stale food. Cause yeah, this does, <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's okay though. Like it's not super, super coffee flavored, like super overpowering. It's got a bit. I feel like it's something that I could maybe eat. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to like purchase it though. 
So this is a whole food super meal, so it sounds like something you would add into your breakfast. That's exciting. Oh, I should close. I should do a close up of this guy. That was pretty decent. I had filmed one of these things with my girlfriend Sonia, but then we had like music, um, copyrighted music playing in the background and I didn't realize until afterwards and I was like, oh my god. So that's why I haven't edited that one. I'm considering trying to like edit it and just like when we're talking, you can hear us and then like film over the other parts of it with um, like other music. So then that way maybe I, it won't get flagged, like I don't know. I was a, a rookie, very noob kind of mistake. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Organic fruity gummy super fruit. I love gummies, but so many gummies have gelatin in them, which is like basically pig and like cow skin and bone that's been like boiled. Can make a gummy, gummy substance and it's in like soaps and like so many things. It's actually in Popeyes. Like, you know those little sticks that look like little cigarettes? It's actually in there. What the hell? My girlfriend bought those for Halloween and thinking that that was going to be vegan. And then when she read the ingredients, when she got them home, she realized. And she's like, oh my god. <sighs> Even the smell of them. <laughs> I want to get more of these. These are so good. <sighs> I'm going to be like crashing hardcore. Oops. From my like a sugar high from all this. Hopefully I don't get a client that wants to book with me like in the middle of filming this. <laughs> I'm gonna be like so hyper. I'm like woo woo woo. I'm not massaging. Woo 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 woo. Just kidding. Okay. Oh my god, these are so good. I need to try not to eat them all. <laughs> I can't really describe it. This kind of like makes me think, I guess, of the real fruit gummies, which have gelatin in them, unfortunately. Maybe? No, why does this? Mmm. So good. Mm. Dude, it says there's black carrot juice concentrate in this. Black carrot? What? I didn't know that was a thing. Is there like every single color of carrot? Is there a white carrot? I guess that's a parsnip kind of. Oh my god! <laughs> every time I look down here, yeah, I'm so excited! <laughs> so this is like the day after Halloween, so this is like the perfect time to do this actually because most vegans, if you go trick-or-treating, like you're not gonna like most of the stuff isn't gonna be vegan. So I did go trick-or-treating with my girlfriend Sonia, her fiance Roy, and then their little girl Osan. And um, there was one house actually that was like, do you want any? There's actually a couple of them. So I got some Skittles. Like I looked inside like the bags of like some people and they had chocolates. I was like, oh, that's okay, thank you. Someone had Skittles, I'm like, yes, Skittles are vegan. So I got those, oh my God. So this is like, it's called Unreal Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter. Fortunately, there's only one peanut butter cup in here, but that's, I'm still excited. It feels like right now that everything's free because I bought these so long ago. Um, yeah, there's five grams of sugar. Ooh. I dropped some. That was sad. Mm. So it's good, but I'm noticing the staleness a little bit. Mmm. But I don't care. <laughs> Chocolate and peanut butter. Oh my God. So some of my favorite chocolate things would be like chocolate peanut butter, chocolate with almond, and chocolate mint. What are your favorite chocolate like combination things? Chocolate and raisins are actually pretty dope too. Like, um, there's this chocolate fruit bar thing that you can get from Walmart. It's just called like Mountain Ridge or something like that. That says chocolate fruit. But when you read the ingredients, the only fruit that's in it is raisins. So I think that if they had to call it a chocolate raisin thing, not as many people would have purchased it. So it's just like a really good marketing strategy. Ooh. So this is another chocolatey thing. I feel like I should have, should I have these? Should I? There's like another bag of these. I'm like, I could give one to Jeff, but one's like, they're so good. Maybe I'll just like eat this whole bag <laughs> and then hide the evidence and then just open the other one and be like, wanna share? <laughs> It's not like he watches my videos anyways, or this would be like a test to see if he would watch an hour long video of me. I don't know if that's gonna be how long this is gonna be. It will be if I keep talking. Okay, so this is ranch. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like, oh, I'm a little bit more disappointed. I thought it was gonna be like a Dorito, like a really cheesy. Mmm. I'm not disappointed more. Oh my God. That's so good. There's like these cracker type things that this kind of, ooh, 
Crispers. Yeah. Which tastes like the crispers, like a branch crispers. Ah, um, um, um. If if you live somewhere where you can get this kind of stuff on a daily basis, I don't think you're ever gonna stay skinny. Like <laughs> what? This is so good. Mmm. That was probably because of all the onion powder. I need to like make things with like lots of onion powder. I find that onion powder can actually be like a cheesy flavoring. So if you're someone like my boyfriend that doesn't like nutritional yeast for whatever reason, he just doesn't like the concept of it. Um, I, I find that things that don't have it but also have onion powder that it still somehow tastes a bit cheesy. Maybe it's only to a vegan that it tastes cheesy. <laughs> someone that hasn't had dairy in a long time. Mmm, this is so good. No. Yeah. No. Nope. Honestly, they're good because they're a bit stale, I think. Mm -hmm. What is this? Ooh! Organic Sour Twist. I'm like getting so distracted, I don't even know what I was like talking about, about my life and stuff. So, trick or treating. This is kind of like trick or treating for a vegan. Just opening up all of these. Wow. They're all like kind of stuck together. It smells sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's watermelon and lemonade flavored. Mm, that's a nice combo. Mmm. Mmm. I really like it. I don't know if you can see that. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, that's good. Yummy. I think this is cereal. Mm -hmm. So I probably won't have like things like cereal and tea and stuff like that right away. Oh, this was something I was excited about, but it's also like a desserty item. It's coconut milk caramel. So I kind of want to go between sweet and like savory, like something salty. Mm. Ooh, bean crisps. Thin and crispy popped bean crisps. Salt of the earth. No artificial anything, always gluten free, never ever fried. Hmm. It's never ever fried. That's cool. So there's green split pea, yellow split pea, and black pea. And I think there's some non GMO corn. I don't really pay attention to like the non GMO stuff, but I don't know. I guess I'm not like a super health fanatic, obviously. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It's not like too salty or anything. Must use sea salt. It kind of tastes sea salt. Uh, mm -hmm. Sea salt. Yeah, this is really good. I could definitely like mow down on these like all the time. It's kind of like the texture hmm, of like rice cakes, kind of, but a little bit crispier. Hmm. So good. Yummy. What is this? Power crackers. Hmm. Have you in a minute? For something sweet. What is this? The problem with a lot of the chocolate bars or like the bars that they give with vegan cuts is they, none of them taste like super good chocolate type thing. Except for like that peanut butter cup thing. Like that's good. But a lot of these bars things, they're like a healthy bar, which I guess for some people that's cool. But I think a lot of people that get these kind of things, they want to try junk food. <laughs> you know? So this is chocolate covered carries. Blech. Cherries. What are carries? I'm gonna eat a carry. No longer vegan. <laughs> so ingredients, cherries. There's dried cherries, cane sugar, sunflower oil. There's some chocolate. Unsweetened chocolate sugar, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then there's natural vanilla flavoring in it. Vegan Cuts promo code. Vegans get five to receive five additional free bars. Expires February 28th, 2017. That's the one thing about all these bars. They're probably all gonna be super stale kind of stuck almost in the package. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Must be dates in it. Mmm, that's yummy. Mmm, it's actually kind of soft, so it's not stiff. I don't think Jeff would like this, because right away I can taste dates. He, he, he hates eating something that's supposed to be chocolate flavored, and it's like dates in it. So he really hates a lot of raw things. I wonder if this, is this a raw thing? I don't even know doesn't say so hmm that's pretty good Ooh. kale chips yeah boo 
Have I had this before? Rhythm Superfoods. Cool ranch. Lots of ranch. I wonder if this was in the same box. I kind of like dumped everything out, so I don't really know what was in what. I find a lot of times with kale chips, you have to like try a few of them before they taste good. Before you start getting like the flavors. Especially for like packaged ones. If you get ones that someone made, they're super amazing. I think they're just a little too stale. They're okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm gonna eat more. So, for those of that you didn't of you that don't know, I have a second channel. I've had it for a long time, actually. Actually, fun fact: I started that channel March twentieth, two thousand eight, which is the date that Jeff and I started dating. I didn't remember that. I just noticed that when I went to go decided to start being more active on it again, and I was like, "That's cool." So I've decided that I'm going to put stuff that's non-vegan related on that channel. I did book Vlogtober. Mm -hmm. Woo. So Vlogtober just means like each day in October I did a vlog video just where I'm like sharing my day and that sort of thing. I've only got the first eight videos edited, wait seven videos edited and uploaded. <laughs> so I have a long way to go for editing them but yeah. I think that it was a fun experience. I'll probably do it again sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's where I'm going to be posting my hoarder to minimalist videos. Because uh, I thought about it and I'm like, I could put them on here. And I feel like that would bring people to this channel. Because a lot of people are curious about hoarders. And like, it, it seems minimalism is trending. It's like all trendy and cool to be a minimalist. Which is cool. Like... I don't think that that's a bad thing but yeah what I'm saying is whenever I've noticed there's like a few different types of videos that I noticed that could make my channel really popular but I want to stay true to myself and I want this channel to be about like sharing the veganism and um, the, the journey and just sh sharing that you don't have to be like a that not all vegans are like rude and in your face and all that and that it can be really fun to be vegan you can eat like junk food still eat healthy if you want to. Um, I do go through phases where I need to eat healthy because if I eat a bunch of junk food like this <laughs> later on today and tomorrow I'm gonna need to eat healthy because my body's just gonna be like craving lettuce like straight up lettuce it's gonna be like fuck yeah give it to me this is good oh my god oh my god yeah mmm yum 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 this is good Mm-hmm. 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 I miss being able to eat Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls, why do you have to put milk in it? <laughs> Seriously. Why? No. I get it when cheesies. When cheesies have milk in them. I get it. Okay. But like, Tootsie Rolls, no. Mmm. <laughs> that was good. Woo. So yeah, if you do want to like see more of my decluttering of my house and that sort of thing, I'm going to be uploading the videos onto that channel. I did upload one already, but there's quite a few. Like, I went through my clothes, like, over the summer a while ago. I downsized a fair bit. I got rid of, like, a few garbage bags full. Um, parts of me keeps putting it off, like, doing more of it, because I'm like, oh, I should film it. Oh, you know, I don't feel like filming right now. <laughs> and then I just, like, put it off, and I'm like, dude, you don't need to film every single thing you get rid of. So, Fuji Apple Crunch Dried Fruit. Gluten free, duh, and non GMO. I always love how like things say gluten free on it, and you're like, yeah, it's a fruit. What the fuck? But who knows? Maybe like some companies put gluten around the apple. Um, I think it's also to help people that are like maybe older and they're trying to buy for their children or their grandchildren and they just they don't know like they literally don't know and so I think that's the reason why also it helps to have like the vegan label because like my grandma doesn't know what vegan is she's just like when I come visit she's like I don't know what to like get you like I don't know what you eat like some people it's just it's difficult because they've never they have so many years of experience of like not having to think about that so I think sometimes that's the reason why it says things like <clears throat> 
gluten-free, but I think it's also just a gimmick just to get people to get into like the trendy things. I'm not saying that everyone that eats gluten-free is doing it to be trendy, but there's definitely a lot of people that are. Nothing smells fresh. I'm so sad. <laughs> They're okay though. This still pretty decent for not being fresh. Mm -mm -mm. It tastes like something you could like sprinkle on your cereal. Yeah. I don't really eat a lot of cereals lately. I've been having smoothies, um, oatmeal. I guess not smoothies, more like shakes. I have a chocolate peanut butter shake that I have a lot. I love it so much. So that was kind of a sweet thing. What is this? Super fiber chia bar. Cool. Um, let's have another chip. Another bean chip, except this is a white bean chip. So what I've noticed is things that are white beans that people have used, uh, you can make it like a really nice creamy base. I need to like experiment with that, with recipes. Has anyone else experimented using white beans to make like a creamy sauce or something? There's some sort of cheese dip that I get from like the bookmobile. So this travel this I have a video, I'll link it up above and down below. But they travel around and they have like vegan and vegetarian foods as well as like Christian books. And one of the sauces has like some sort of white bean as like the main ingredient. This is actually kind of sweet, so it's kind of weird. And then like with a bit of lemon. Is it supposed to be oh yeah. Hint of lime. There's long grain rice in it. This is healthy. <laughs> this is pretty good. What is in it that's kind of sweet? Maybe it's just the hint of lime and I'm thinking it tastes sweet. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I started my massage therapy business in February, like February 1st of 2017, 2018. It was this year. So that's getting exciting. I started out with just doing three days a week there and then four days at the massage business that I work for, like the massage company that I work for. And then I decided that I want in September to take a risk. And so now I'm four days at my massage business and then three days working for someone else. So yes, technically I do work seven days a week, which has made it kind of like hard and stressful for me to be able to film and to like be organized and to like you know, have a healthy mind, <laughs> healthy soul, all that. So kind of doing the Vlogtober really helped me um, a little bit to realize that, you know, there are certain things that are like more important than to just like upload videos regularly and stuff. Like I'm still trying, I'm still trying to like upload each Thursday. I think that it is important to try to like have a consistent schedule but I'm not always gonna be that way. And I think spending time with family, spending time with Jeff, my boyfriend, um, all of that is super important. I've had a really, I've been a really bad family person for the last few years. Um, I think it's just, it's partially like when I went vegan and I, it's not because of my veganism, it's just because I got so into doing like YouTube videos and doing like so many different things. Like I was part of like, the vegans and vegetarians of Alberta, I was doing their social media, doing events, etc. And then volunteering at farm. I haven't had much time to go out there lately. Um, so yeah, I just kept putting off like hanging out with like family and that sort of thing. And I just feel really shitty about that. Um, I'm not 100% sure if she's okay with me sharing this. I'll ask her if, and if she's not, I'll take this out. But my mom, I didn't think it would be hard to say it because it's been a while. Those of you that know me in my real life know that my mom um, was in a bad accident at the end of August. Um, it's really um, kind of made me like think about things a little bit more. Sorry, this is supposed to be an exciting one. Um, it, essentially what happened is her quad flipped. Uh, she was on like a date with her fiance and their quad flipped and went down on a, a really steep embankment. He died on impact. And she has eight broken ribs. Um, so it's just like moments like that where you don't think 
think stuff like that will ever happen to you. You always hear people say that. They always say, you never think that this is gonna happen to you until it actually happens. And his birthday is actually like December 25th, especially Christmas. So it's super important to me this year to like make sure to like spend time, quality time with family. Um, I'm not saying that like Christmas time that I wouldn't spend time with family, but last year the massage business that I work for, they literally only gave me December 25th off. I didn't get the 24th or the 26th off just because like that's how the schedule works. Um, like because those were the days that fell on like me getting days off. I mean the, my work schedule. Anyways. That's the first time that that's ever happened to me before. I didn't try asking for any of the days off. I should clarify that. But they did say, tell us that December is like a blackout period. You can't ask for time off. This year, I actually asked my my boss, supervisor, whatever, um, if I could get December 30th off. Because I'm scheduled to work December 24th. But since I only work three days there, uh, I'm not scheduled to work the 26th. So I'm like, you know what? That's not bad. I can leave like after work on the 24th and go spend much time with my mom so yeah my boss is letting me take December 30th off which is great um, looking forward to being able to spend lots of time with her and with my family I've always like been pretty good with like keeping in touch with my mom but it's like my other family members that I've struggled with and I feel really shitty about that um, like I had a niece and nephew that lived in Edmonton for a year with their mom so I'm related to like it's my brother's kids but they're separated um, and I only probably saw them like twice when they were here and I feel so crappy about that like that's so crummy so I want to try and change things I keep saying that and like it's been a couple months and I still haven't like made a whole lot of plans to do those sort of things but like nobody nobody lives in Edmonton I have family that's in Red Deer and Calgary and then BC so anyways let's get back a little bit to the month long wanted to get that off my chest about how like I'm like you know just something life-altering like that has happened and it's making me realize that there are other things that's more important because we all die eventually and sometimes a lot sooner than we expect this is another one of those <laughs> unreal chocolate is it the same one it looks different it's a different color anyways I don't know what's different about it but Oh, this one's an almond butter cup. Nice. Mm. I was thinking about making some. I actually have some massage clients that, well, one, it was telling me that she's allergic to peanuts. And she's, and when I was telling her about making chocolates with my family, that, because that's what we're going to do, like, the Remembrance Day weekend, is get together and make some chocolates in BC. And um, she was talking about, I wonder what almond butter would taste like in it. So I'm considering like making her some. It actually tastes pretty good. Mmm, yummy. Sea salt and butter. <laughs> naturally flavored. Well, you can get vegan butter. It doesn't say that it's in it though. Well, it says natu natural butter flavors. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> this is vegan, right? Um, usually when something is just like flavors, it's fine. I don't know. I think it is. It doesn't have a certified vegan thingy on it, but yeah, it says best if consumed by July 28th, 2017. I feel pretty safe with vegan cuts. I really do think that they're really good with making sure they do not smell good, but they're cheesies. I was not expecting like cheesy looking things. The picture looks like a little popcorn. Like it looks like a little circle. Very stale. <laughs> but the flavor is good. <laughs> I find that certain things, but like after a while of like chewing them, you just like notice the flavor more. It's a good thing that I'm not super turned off by textures. I know some people are and I just feel so bad for them. I feel bad for you if you're watching and you're one of those people. Like I love to make Buddha style bowls with like raw and cooked items together. I think it's so good. I love like soft and crunchy, warm and cold. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make me super weird? I'm not sure. 
I personally think it's kind of weird and sad that people need to have things a very specific way. It's like, why can't you enjoy your food? <laughs> I think it would suck if you couldn't enjoy a lot of your foods. So that was like a thingy chicka chick chick. What is this? A Jimmy bar, a super hip chocolate chip. Clean snack bar, so that means it's healthy. Not super excited about trying it. Okay, so it's called a mini Jimmy bar. They make it sound exciting. They put an exclamation mark on it. Here's some ASMR. It's not super good. It's decent. It tastes very stale, but it's pretty decent. Okay. Do I have any more chips left? What is that? There's peanuts. Is that peanuts? <laughs> really? No, it's not peanuts. Ooh, popped chickpeas. That sounds interesting. It's called What You See Foods. <laughs> That's fun. There's a chickpea blend. It's got green peas, rice, and chickpeas. So, it should technically be called popped green peas because green peas comes before the chickpeas. It smells sweet. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, look at them. They look so pretty. It looks like a dessert type thing. Caramelized sugar flavor. Uh, coconut sugar. Maybe it is a sweet type thing. Oh, that's fun. I was trying to look for a salty thing. It's called caramel sea salt is the flavor. Mm. Oh, those are nice. It's not like a super overpowering or anything. Mm. It kind of just reminds me of a very subtle, very, very subtle, you know, <laughs> my boyfriend and his mom calls it Costco crack, but you know those cheesy and caramel popcorns that you can get? It's got the cheesy ones and then the caramel ones in it. Very, very subtle of like the caramel. Maybe. Or is it something else that it's reminding me of? There's like the, some sort of puffed yellow cereal. A little bit like that. I can't remember what those are called. Well, that wasn't a selfie item. I think I'm running out. Oh well. Figgy Pops Choco Crunch Super Snacks Organic Fruit and Nut Snack. There's cocoa, cherries, dates, figs, power seeds, coconut, and cacao nibs. Sounds like a very healthy thing. It's an organic thing too. Organic made in nature. I think that's the brand. Can't open. Oh, thank you. Wait. I should have brought scissors over just in case. Mm. I can smell like the fig. Doot, doot, doot. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't mind those. Oh, no, wait. I've, I've had some of those. What this one? Is this like the same one? Okay, if I tried you. There's a lot of like black bean vegan goodies. <laughs> like, mm. ooh, that salsa thingy that it's in, that green avocado dip looks good. Do I get some of that? Huh? <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to go and do chocolates with my family. It's been a few years since I've done it. I haven't done it since I went vegan actually. Just because the first year I went vegan, and when my grandma asked me if I'd come out again, I was like. I don't know, I don't know like how to make it vegan. So I put it off and then like last year, put it off again just cause like I was really busy. So this year I looked it up on Bulk Barn. That's like a bulk food store. I don't know, do they have them in the States or is it just Canada? Um, there's Belgian chocolate wafers. You can look up all the stuff on their website and they'll have the ingredients. Mmm, mmm good. This video is already at like, is that 35 or 38? 35 minutes long. <laughs> this is pretty good. I got my hair in my mouth. Mmm, this is pretty tasty. Ah. But, I think I like these things better. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So yeah, I uh, found those, so I'm gonna have to go get some. Hopefully they're there, because November 9th, 10th, 11th, whatever, I don't know what day I'm leaving. I'd have to look at the calendar. Um, coming up quick. I need to make sure to go get a whole bunch of those. So these are pretzel no-nos. Oh, they're pretzel, okay. Um, I thought they were gonna be like, what are those chocolate things with like the candied shell on the outside? Mmm, these are good though. Sometimes after a while of you like not eating something, you don't remember what things are called. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's kind of so stale, but it's kind of a weird flavor. Yeah. It's sour almond milk. I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's pretty good, but mm, not not super amazing. Not as not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. What are you This is like a meal replacement. Has anyone tried this? Do, 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 do. Follow me on Instagram at veganliving247 and I'll share about this when I do get around to trying it. What is this? This is a bag. Ooh. <gasps> Dill and sa Dill and sour fucking cream. I'm sorry for swearing. I don't know if there's kids that are watching this right now. I'm sorry. Um, what? Lentil chips. Um, so before going vegan, my favorite type of chip was like sour cream and onion. And then there was like from Superstore, they have their no name brand. They have like a, <clears throat> it's one of those thick cut chips. It's like dill and sour cream. I can smell the dill. Do I like you? I think I would like you better if you weren't stale. <laughs> it's like a subtle like sour cream and subtle dill. It it's tasty, but it's like, I don't know. Better if it wasn't stale. Mmm, <laughs> I wish I opened these more quickly, like sooner. So this is from Enjoy Life. We have some Enjoy Life products at Superstore, but we don't have these. I think it's mostly like the chocolates and stuff. Like you can get chocolate chips and I'm like, why would I spend that much money? I don't know if it's like, do they use, uh, what is that oil called? There's like a type of oil that's really bad for the environment and that sort of thing, but you can like harvest it like in a more environmentally friendly way. So I don't think it's got that in it though. Mm. Because honestly you can get the regular brand stuff and the no name brand stuff of chocolate chips. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them that say like unsweetened chocolate chips or whatever, they're vegan. So why would, why do people pay extra for the Enjoy Foods ones? Super Fiber Chia Bar. Raspberry and red, I thought I said beef. Red beef flavor. Red beet flavor. Beet. Hmm. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I feel like a, a burp is coming on. Excuse me. I warned you. Oh wait, there was a salty thing. Mm. I'm going to take the <laughs> By the way, I can act like that sometimes without any sugar. <laughs> Things that Jeff loves about me, I'm sure. <laughs> Ingredients, sprouted watermelon seeds and Celtic, Cel Celtic sea salt. I'm sure if my girlfriend Angel's watching, she's like, <laughs> Whenever I like pronounce things wrong, she's just like, oh my god. She's probably just laughing about it. But. And again, can you guess what it smells like? It smells stale. <laughs> I still have some cookie in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm, do I have water? Not really. Be right back. Woohoo! I am back. Ah, 
Whenever you eat like junky foods and you start to drink water, you're like, oh my god, I need more. So my birthday is November 5th. It's coming up pretty soon. And so November 3rd, I'm gonna be hanging out with my girlfriend, at my girlfriend Sonia's house. And we're gonna be doing a paint party. I'm so excited with uh, my girlfriend, Denise. She's a local artist and she hosts uh, painting parties through Red Pepper Painting Parties. That's her company. So I'm hiring her to do Millie. Hold on. I feel like a little kid doing show and tell. This is how I get when my mom comes over. I'm like, look at this, look at this. Millie. So if you screenshot that, you'll be able to read a little bit about her. She's the one on the front here. She's got a crooked nose. The painting doesn't show her nose being crooked. Like you, I don't know if you can kind of see. You can tell more in person. She's probably like, F you biatch, my nose is perfect. It's not crooked. That's, maybe that's why the painting is not crooked. Anyway, so we're gonna be painting her. I'm so excited. I love goats. They're so cute and so funny. If you've never been around a goat in real life, like, you're missing out. They're so funny. Like, they have such huge characters. Some of them can be such assholes. <laughs> They're so funny though. I love them. What are you? Ooh. Pop chips, potato ridges, salted. Never fried, always real. They're always real. Because when it's fried, it's not real. By the way, is there anyone that lives in Edmonton that wants to do like a mukbang or like cooking video with me or something? Because I'm always like interested in collaborating with people, having fun. You don't have to be a YouTuber. But if you are a YouTuber, then that's extra exciting. I don't know if I'm done on collaboration with a YouTuber. I keep asking people and then we never like set up a date. There's actually quite a few these people. There's quite a few vegan YouTubers out there and Edmonton. But we don't collaborate together. We should have like a little meetup. Oh, maybe that's what I should do. I should just host a meetup. Mm-hmm. You good. I like them. Nom, 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 nom. Although if they watch this video, they're gonna be like, dude, you're psycho. But the psycho crazy Hippie ladies <laughs> are the best kind, right? Strawberry shortcake, oatmeal. Oh, this sounds good. Mm -hmm. yum, 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 yum. When I woke up this morning, I had to call my mom. I'm setting up a thing, Sweet Pea Cafe and Playhouse. They opened their playhouse today. It's like a local restaurant here. Um, it's like the only fully vegan playhouse area because apparently there's like four or five, maybe more different playhouse type things in the city. Of course I wouldn't know that because I don't have kids. <laughs> so here I was thinking that they had come up with this ingenious concept, like that they came up with it. But then my one girlfriend was like, mm, no, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> I was like, okay. Anyways, we're gonna go there tomorrow. Like when my mom comes up, she's coming for my birthday party. Cause like I was trying to say, sorry, I'm all over the place. If you're still watching, can you write like, hit piece? Write that into the comments, please. I'm sorry I'm like all over the place and so if you're like sticking around that's great I appreciate you you're awesome or maybe I'm just awesome no big deal just kidding <laughs> uh, so yeah my mom is coming up tomorrow we're gonna spend lots of quality time together I'm so excited about that and I'm selling my blah, 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 celebrating my birthday on the Saturday um what was I trying to say yeah so I called her and while I was talking with her I was like hungry um so I ate oatmeal because I was just gonna have this for breakfast because I, I woke up pretty hungry and I'm like I could eat all this anyways the purpose of me saying all that was because I was like I could have made that, that oatmeal I could have paused the video and made some oatmeal and had like a decent issue breakfast but I already had leftover oatmeal in the fridge that I just heated up so there's blackberry hibiscus organic herbal tea excuse me some mukbangers would be like Bleh! right into the camera but I don't know that's not really my thing I'm, I apologize if that's your thing for watching that let me know if you like listening to people barp really loud apparently some people do because some people on those kind of channels will comment and be like that's so funny <laughs> I'm like okay like I mean 
if you enjoy doing that and it's just funny or whatever, then cool, I'll keep doing it. But I don't know. I guess if it just came out or whatever, then I would laugh about it. But I don't really feel like forcing out a really big burp for the camera. Tomato basil. I used to call it basil, but I think I've heard someone's call it basil. Is that the proper way? These are organic ch chipitos. Oh, that's fun. Crispy chickpeas roasted in olive oil. Six ingredients with six grams of protein. Protein. Where do we get their protein? I don't know. I've been deficient since I went vegan. Getting hyper much. Hopefully it takes a little while before Jeff comes home, otherwise he's gonna be like, whoa, I need to leave the house right now. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, he's the basil. Basil. Aren't some people called basil? Like in England? Or is that just back in the day, like old, that older generations? Pretty good. It's interesting. It's not my favorite thing, but it's also not gross. Sorry, I didn't show the bag. I think it would be better again if it was fresh. Garlic and onion roasted broad beans. Broad. <laughs> Why am I laughing at that? <laughs> These beans are such broads. <laughs> what does that word even mean? Does that mean like bitch or does that mean like a whore? Like what is that? What is a broad? I've never called anyone that before. I don't usually call people mean names. Ooh. Garlic and onion is pretty good. What is it? Broad beans. Yeah. Well, duh. Fava beans or fava beans. Fava. Oh, I never know how to pronounce things. Um. February 8th, 2018 was when they were best before. These are a little bit more fresh than some of the other things. Yeah, off my mouth. Ooh, power crackers. I keep looking at this and expecting it's like a juice mix because like the packaging that's it. How do I feel about you? It smells like lime or lemon. Oh, I guess it does say it lemon chia crunch. There's like a mushroom in it. There's freeze dried reishi mushroom. I want to try a reishi. I mean, I know I'm trying a reishi mushroom. But I want to try it like fresh. I want to know what it looks like. What is it? I love mushrooms. Not the drugs. I did have the drugs on me for a while. Someone gave me some. Ooh, ooh low battery. Someone gave me some mushrooms, but like the drug, but I never like tried them. I ended up getting rid of them. I think I should plug in my phone before it actually dies. Plugged in. Don't fall. I have a really terrible um, selfie stick. I need to eventually invest on all the better kind of equipment and stuff. Stupid rubber's falling out. <laughs> The rubbers fall off and then they get pregnant. A phone that gets pregnant. Hmm. What would the babies look like? Babaloo nuts. Out of shell almonds seasoned with Tajin. It's not Cajun. It's Tajin. 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 I don't know. I'm gonna say it's Tajin. My thing is on like. What does that even mean anyways? A-E lock. Is it locked onto my face? So I don't go blurry? I don't really know. Um, it did not smell good. It tastes salty with like hint of Tajin. Yeah. I've never had that before. So it's almonds, tapioca, dextrin, chili peppers, sea salt, dehydrated lime juice, silicone dioxide. What the f***? Tajin. It doesn't even start. 
Maybe that just means... I don't know. Maybe the Mexicans can tell. I'm just guessing Mexican because it looks like a Mexican-y like packaging. Maybe you can explain to me what that means. For someone with more life experience. Coconut chips. I feel like I've tried these before. They're like, eh. Not this flavor though. Pumpkin spice with turmeric. I'm not really a huge fan of like coconut bacon. The first time I tried it, I was. Oh my God. Like we got it from Costa Rica and we're just, we got it like in a bag at this like vegan thing place on like an island. Were we on an island? We're on a beach. Anyways, I'm not a huge fan of like coconut pieces things. Okay. Maybe I'll bring this to like, I can bring a lot of these to my birthday party. Mm. Just maybe not like the chocolate bar things because I like bit right out of them like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I considered like, bring, like cutting things off with a knife so I could share them with more people, but I was like, yeah, that's too much work. Here's another one of these, if I ever tried it. Oh, what is this? Sun Warrior. It's, it's basically a plant-based organic meal. Feels like squishy, like a powder. I'm gonna assume you put this into like a shake. That's kind of fun. It's always fun to try like other shake type stuff. I always just like cacao powder with peanut butter and uh, almond milk and frozen bananas. And then I just add some other things just for like health stuff. So I could add a little bit of this for health stuff. Ooh, it's a Aztec. Aztec chocolate is in it. That's cool. I think this is another tea. Shiitake turmeric. Ooh, I've heard good things about this. Turmeric. I always thought it was turmeric. Turmeric. Is, is there supposed to be an R there? What? <laughs> Mind blown. Banana bar. No sugar added. What is better than one banana? Three bananas in one. <laughs> one nutri Tiva banana bar brings natural goodness for your benefit and enjoyment. Dun, 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 dun. Smells kind of chocolatey ish. Mm. Mm. Doesn't taste like chocolate. I think I was just deceived because it's brown. So I'm like, is it chocolate? There's no chocolate in it. I don't think so, but maybe. Why you be brown? Is it because bananas go brown over time? <laughs> I don't know if they list them. Maybe it comes from like some other bigger package thing that's got a whole bunch. And then that has the ingredients. Ooh, what are these? Mini chips. Stack pack. Are they just like, yeah, I think they're just like little chocolate chips. See, this is one of those types of items that I'm like, what's the purpose in spending more money on that? That smells like chocolate. Oh yeah, see this is it's an enjoy life food. Okay. I need to clean my pot. I still have like dates or something stuck in my teeth. It just tastes like chocolate chips. Ooh, I was asking if it has got like anything special about it. You know what? It's pretty like low on ingredients. I'd have to look at, ooh. Chef organized our house. Where are the chocolate chips? Oh, there you are. Semi sweet chocolate chips. Let's see. It's just got unsweetened chocolate, sugar, soy lectin, and vanilla. With that being said, unsweetened chocolate is usually like three or four different ingredients. This one's got organic cane sugar, unsweetened chocolate, which is again three or four ingredients, and cocoa butter. So it doesn't have soy in it, and it doesn't have. Um, what was the other thing? It doesn't have like vanilla. It doesn't have like sugar added. I mean, it's got organic cane sugar. So I guess it's just like a healthier version. So if you're like wanting like a healthier one, maybe get this and spend extra money to get something that tastes the same. Flavor infused pizzuts. <laughs> that is cute. I love things with cute names. There's a Baja taco. All natural, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, blah, blah, blah. How can open you? There's cumin in it. There's 
kosher salt. Oh, these are peanuts. Did I know that? Did I did I say peanuts out loud? Oh. Mm. What is that? Um, there's like a song where you like when you eat it. I ate a peanut last night. Last night I ate a a rotten peanut. A rotten peanut. Got a tummy ache. Got a tummy ache. I'm just thinking that because these are probably kind of old. Ooh, this Dr. Pazoot guy looks crazy. Go back there, a little cartoony dude. Arr. I think I pretty much tried practically everything. There's a chocolate bar here. Ooh, I'm getting full. Chocolate mint mini cookies. Ooh, they look kind of cute. They look like those little rosebud things that you get those chocolate, except it's like a cookie format. Ooh. I'm just afraid of it like exploding. Um, Oh, they're a lot bigger than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a nice, like, flavoring to it. A little bit stale, but, like, if it wasn't stale, these would be so good. But, yeah, they only expired, like, or best before June 11th, 2018. So they're still pretty, pretty decent. So that's just July, August, September, October. Like four months. It's November 1st, it's not the middle of November. I don't really feel like I need to try this for taste testing. It's just gonna taste like popcorn. Ah. This got me super excited when I saw this. And I started laughing because of the whole thing about Gary cheese. But it's Gary Poppins. Popcorn. I don't think. It would be funny if that was the reason why they came up with it, but I don't think that's probably why they came up with that name. Essentially, some lady was all like, why do vegans have to call things cheese? That's not cheese. So essentially, a lot of people think that if it's not dairy, then you can't call it cheese. So why don't they call it Gary or something? So. I wonder if Gary Yurofsky thought that that was really entertaining because his name's Gary and he's like, yeah, it can be a cheese. I'll pronounce his last name wrong. Ooh, is this like a caramelly? Mmm. Mm, oh, okay. This is a lot more like the Costco crack. Oh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Whole green and small batch. <clears throat> ah. Made one small tasty batch at a time. Cool. This is, um, kind of cute. It, it made me smile. It's like a little baggie that I can put like my little snacks into. And it says, I'm vegan and I know it. What? <laughs> I'm vegan and I know it. <laughs> Let's keep them. It's probably meant for like a little kid. It says name and info and you can put their name on it. Aww. That's cute. Nice. I think that's cute. Is this what is this? These are more teas. Okay, cool. Tea, tea, tea chino. Nice. Some more to apple, cinnamon, breakfast, biscuit bites, granola. <laughs> peanut. Is this like peanut brittle? Softer than brittle peanut. So peanut brittle, but just softer. Let's try you. My grandpa used to make peanut brittle. He used to be like, he used to work at a like a candy store. It was called the Nut House. He got pulled over by the police officer and he's like, why are you speeding so much? He's like, I'm going to the Nut House. And then the police officer thought he was like fucking with him, but he was like literally going to the Nut House. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm, good go. I need to take like a bite and show you the inside. These are good. Mm. Oh, best before September 27th, 2018. So, these are like the most non stale items that I've tried so far. Probably why they taste so good. <laughs>
overnight oats. That's cool. I think I've just about tried everything. There's like a couple things here. Dark chocolate, 62% cocoa with rosemary. Rosemary, I'm gonna eat you. I hope that's okay. Do I have your consent? If so, it's vegan. <gasps> One of my girlfriend's names is Rosemary. She's probably not watching this bar. This is getting pretty long. Pretty good. It's like one of those grainy kind of chocolate bars. Not all dark cocoa is like, like, or ones with like the higher percentage is like really strong and gross. Some of them can be. My mom would really like that. She loves like really dark chocolates, like the ones that I call bitter and gross. Um, Cause that's like kind of in between being like too bitter and gross and like being kind of sweet. So I dig it. But I find the ones that are like super healthy like that, they're a little bit more grainy. Soft baked organic brownie, double chocolate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, it smells good. I've got stuff in my mouth. I'm not chewing and swallowing my food fast enough. <laughs> Ooh, did I not try this? What is this? Soft baked minis. Snickerdoodles. I love snickerdoodles. The Clever Rabbit makes these really good. It's a local restaurant here. It makes some really good snickerdoodles. Is there like pumpkin in this? I could just sit here and just sniff them. I think it smells better than it tastes. Sometimes that's the case with things. I don't know. Weird, oh, that thing that I was trying to think of was palm oil. Palm oil isn't good for the environment. There's palm oil in this. It says organic palm oil though, so it's probably good, a good kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. What are you, you oh yeah, these, these are the snickers. Yeah. I saved them. I need to kill it. And they're so soft. Oh, I need to learn how to make snickers. Mm. Made in a dedicated nut and gluten free facility. For those of you that are super allergic to gluten or nuts, these be good. Mm -mm -mm. Pickies, let's have something salty. I've been eating a lot of goodie pick stuff. Far out fajita. Far out, dude. Yeah. Stuff that hippies say. There's a lot of like cheesy, like shaped things. I guess it's just because like vegans are like, we haven't had cheesies in forever. Twisted, tor what are those things called? Like, they're twisted popcorn. There's a couple different brands I've seen, they're vegan. Check the ingredients. Mmm. It's pretty good. This would be far out. Radical, dude. They're pretty good. Mmm. So, like, we'll turn everything except for this. Oi! People ever make mukbangs with the two parts? Ooh, that looks sexy. Chocolate flesh. Okay, so this is organic plant based performance. Performance. Does anyone ever like, they just have like a dirty mind, and you're like, performance? <laughs> Obviously, it means like for sport, but sex could be a sport. So yeah, oh, I think these are very healthy tasting. Mm. I'm just not into it. <laughs> not right now. Mm. One more of these things. So yeah, I think I'm basically done. Um, I don't know if I really had anything else that I was wanting to talk about, like with my business and stuff. I think essentially what I was trying to say is in February is when I started. So February 28th, I plan on being my last day hopefully at like the massage business that I work for as an employee. Um, I'm gonna be full time on my own. Maybe I'll go work for like a vegan restaurant as well. It's kind of important to me to like work for a vegan company now. Um, some of the products that I 
use at the massage business that I work for don't aren't vegan um, so yeah uh, I need to kill good. so I try to use vegan and environmentally friendly as best to my knowledge lotions and cleaners at my business um, I'll link down that kind of stuff down below if you're ever in Edmonton. Um, hit me up. I work Wednesdays to Saturdays so far. <laughs> I also offer direct billing with most providers. I have low introductory rates. I'm feeling like at some point I'm gonna make a little ad and put them in my uh, in my videos, and I'll be the one that's sponsoring myself. For my business might as well get my name out there like to people that are already watching me and that like me so might as well um anywho thanks so much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope it's been fun um make sure to give it a like subscribe to my channel for more and i will try i will try for my next video to like the tamakmong to not have it super duper long Obviously it's a little bit harder for something like this because there's so much, this is pretty cool, there's so many like products here, it's kind of hard for me to like not, I haven't tried this but that's okay. Um, so it's hard for me to try all these videos in a, so it's hard for me to try all of these products in like a timely manner and for a video so I hope you guys understand. Um, but I will try to have like a shorter mukbang type video. Maybe it'll be like an actual meal that I've cooked or something. I think that would be fun. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to... Why am I repeating myself? <laughs> so thanks for watching you guys. Veg, peace, and love. Till next time. Bye. Bye. I just filmed a mukbang which is an eating show and I'm super hyper. Why you ask? I had all these vegan cuts boxes. All these goodies. Yum. Coming soon. And I got food on my face. <laughs> Yum. Saving it for later.